What that means is don't try to be someone else. By all means, find uh, mentors, find people that you look up to, but don't duplicate them, all right? A better way might be to say, geez, I really like what that person does and what that person does over here is really different, but that's nice. I mean, build the composite of the persons you wanna be, but never forget who you are. Be yourself. The counterbalance to that is to make sure you take an honest look in the mirror. So I'll give you an example of my background. So at GE, back in the days when Jack Welch was leading it, everybody wanted to be Jack Welch. So I came into my mid-20s and I took over the IT department of the telecommunications business and yep, you know, I'm gonna do this and that and at some point when Jack leaves, I will take his position. I mean, the reality is I was never gonna be Jack Welch. I am not gonna be the CEO of a multinational company, certainly at the scale of a GE or a BP where I was, or a Motorola for that matter. That's okay. I know what my strengths are, but you also need to know what your weaknesses are, and you need to know what your challenges are. So when I say reflect, be reflective, be honest, and from a team perspective, fill those gaps with those around you. This is not a one-person war. This is not a one-person fight. And that really relates to what you guys are doing for the weekend as well, okay? Build a team, be together, embrace diversity in the broadest sense.